Welcome to the audition. Go ahead and slate whenever you're ready. Hello, my name is Beverly Russell, and I am from Madison, Wisconsin. <clears throat> All right, Miss Russell, um, we're going to start with some improvisations. Can you be a lamp for me, please? No, 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 no. Stop that. Um, you're doing a fine job pretending to be a lamp, but I really want to see you be a lamp. Try again. No, 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 stop. Listen, I really want you to immerse yourself in the complex inner life of a lamp, okay? Now, I'm gonna throw some guided questions your way, let them help you find your way into a lamp. All right, ready? Now, imagine yourself as a lamp in a lamp store. You are surrounded by a hundred other lamps that look exactly like yourself. All of your waking hours are spent being ogled at by newlyweds. Now, what does that do to your self-confidence? You aren't unique. You aren't special. There are a million other lamps just like you. Now you're feeling existential lamp dread. You didn't always want to be a, a fixture in someone else's home. When you were younger, you wanted to be the first lamp lawyer to testify in front of the Supreme Court. You went to lamp lawyer school, but you failed the lamp bar exam and fell into lamp depression as the weight of your lamp loans for lamp lawyer school began crushing down on you. Show me how that would make you feel. Oh, <laughs> perfection. Oh, um, thank you. All right, Miss Russell, we're gonna try another one. Uh, really give it your all this time. Now, imagine yourself as a pipe wrench hanging on a nail on the second row of tools in a tool shed with green walls in the backyard of a two-story Dutch colonial located somewhere in Cumberland County, Maine in the latter half of uh, 1978. Now, as a pipe wrench, your main function is to tighten pipe fittings. You know this inherently. However, you aren't used this way. Every day, a woman in her mid-50s instead uses you to tighten hex bolts. You oblige the woman and do the job well. You're a professional after all, but the very act of this hurts your very soul. You wish to scream, but you can't, thanks to your despicable lack of a mouth that pipe wrenches have. So instead, <laughs> All right, well, I, I did just say that pipe wrenches can't scream, but nonetheless, very well done, Miss Russell. Thank you. All right, we're gonna do one more improvisation, and then I think we can call this audition a day. I just want you to move around the space uh, pretending to be a snoodlepuss. Snoodlepuss? Uh, yes, it's a creature that I just made up that is a combination between a snake, poodle, and octopus. Off you go. Okay, all right, good. Good, now give me more. Bigger, bigger! Yes, give me some noise, I wanna hear the snoodlepuss! Oh God, a pack of yonkos are closing in. They're the natural predator, the snoodlepuss. You'll have to fight them off. Yes, yes, kill them, kill them! There are a few more left, you can do this! Superb! Uh-oh, here comes the alpha yonko. You better kill him quick, or he's gonna find your snoodlepuss den and start eating your snoodlepuss family members. Fantastic, Miss Russell. Simply amazing. Oh, you know, we were supposed to have a couple of other people come in today, but after what I've seen, after what I've seen, I don't think that's necessary. When can you come in to get fitted for the suit? Fitted for the suit, does that, does that mean? Oh, yes, Miss Russell. We want you to be the next Bucky Badger. <laughs> <laughs>